hey guys welcome back today we are animating if you're new welcome i'm ashley i'm a designer i'm a creative strategist i'm an agency owner so now that we know each other let's get right into it so i figured out how to do this last night i was trying to do this for a client and i was like i need to figure out how to do this today and i did so we're going to be using a bit of illustrator a little bit of ai and a little bit of after effects so let's get right into it Okay, so we're starting out in Illustrator. I'm gonna just do 1920 by 1080. And there we have that. So now we're going to make a rectangle shape. And I'm going to go over to text to vector and I'm gonna type in sunset on the beach. Um, I'm leaving it here at detail to see what it comes up with okay not what i was thinking <laughs> so what i think it needs is a reference i'm gonna hop onto pinterest and kind of see a good reference i can use i'm linking something like that but not really Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to do that. Ah, no! <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Okay, that was so disrespectful. I literally did not even need to press that. I don't even know how to undo that. Okay, anyway, let's just keep going. That was so disrespectful. Let's use this one. We're gonna download. We're just going to bring it right into, gonna bring it right into Illustrator. And what I'm gonna do is take this, I'm gonna press pick styles from a reference. I'm gonna drop the dropper here and then generate again. I feel like it could do much better. I'm gonna get one more reference and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this reference right here and see. I feel like it could do way better than this. I've definitely gotten much better. Okay, so let's generate again. I think it's getting closer and closer, but you never know with the AI. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. So this is not bad either. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. So you can get rid of this and I'm just gonna make it fill here. And it's just gonna go over the edges. Like I don't really care about that. Um, what I do wanna change is the background. Um, so I'm gonna ungroup start ungrouping this stuff um i'm gonna actually delete these layers oh my god no <laughs> i didn't realize that was a whole group okay let's ungroup again i only want this part okay so now that we've removed all of the sky, I want to actually make a gradient sky. So I'm going to get a rectangle and place that there. Um, I put it in a new layer, so I labeled it sky. And what I'm going to do is go over to the gradient tool. I don't think I want to use points. I'm going to use this one, but let's see. I'm going to do it at 90 degrees, so this color here, I actually want it to be purple. And then that can be over there. This color, I think orange. I 
actually gonna remove one and then this color I really do like this color here so I'm gonna do that and then the last color is going to be a yellow or mustard or whatever you want to call that okay so we're going to just try to even these out a bit okay so there we have our sky we have that so what i'm gonna do now the thing that we're gonna animate is actually clouds so i'm going to grab some clouds from elements and Vato. so i'm gonna do abstract clouds and see what it gives me i'm gonna go in graphics i think these are good enough so yeah i'm just gonna download that okay all right, so I think I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna ungroup these first and then paste them here. Let's resize these a bit. I'm going to recolor this and I'm gonna use a color theme picker. That's the one I went with. So I'm gonna use that and actually, um, and now I'm actually going to choose some more and then just drop it in there because this is what we're going to be animating. Again, recolor. And I'm gonna make a few more. I'm gonna go to asset export and I'm gonna just drop the clouds in there and then I'm going to go back to layers I'm going to remove the clouds okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm going to go to export export for screens I'm just gonna drop this into this folder and for asset export i'm going to use i'm going to hold down shift and select all of them make sure this is at that and then export again that was a whole ordeal so so new project new composition i'm going to make sure it's 1920 by 1080 i'm going to uncheck that okay okay so i'm going to go to file import file and this is the sunset that we just did i'm going to drop it there so it looks um very pixelated right now just because it's in this third but if i was to go full it would be there but this just helps it um not freeze so much when i'm in the middle of animating so i'm gonna also go back to file and import and these are the clouds so i'm going to just open them and then drop them in but i'm actually going to put it above that layer i feel like there was another one am i missing something okay here it is okay um then sky 3 okay so i'm just going to move them around like how i had it and this is over here. Okay, so we're gonna do a very basic animation. Um, so for this one, I'm gonna hit this time stop here just to make keyframes. So I'm gonna hit here. And then I'm going to go to two seconds and then I'm going to move the position up to about here and then I'm gonna to go to four seconds and then move it back down. So it's gonna look like it's kind of like floating. So if I hit play, 
that's what it's doing. Um, I'm going to do the same thing at two seconds, and I'm just gonna go down first. And then while that's the other one is coming down at four seconds, I'm gonna make this one go up about there so let me put it all together so i'm going to hit the mark here and then at two seconds i'm going to make it go up and then at four seconds i'm going to make it go back down so when i put everything together everything looks like this so now that we have all of that together, we can then go to composition and then add it to render queue. I'm going to check on the output model and make sure it's at H.264 and then hit OK and then output 2. I'm going to put animation in the same folder, save and then I'm going to hit render. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that's the only way I will know that you guys like these videos and I will do more of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys end up doing your own, uh, tag me, let me know. Um, I want to see how yours came out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!